I used to teach um, middle and high school, and I would work with special needs kids. And one of the things that Jim G talks about that I that has really kind of influenced my thinking is that if I ever pick up a manual for a video game and I read it, it makes no sense. But as soon as I play the game, all of a sudden that manual becomes a resource for helping me do my job in the game better. The problem with school and when I was teaching is I didn't, I was teaching ideas, I was giving kids tools and manuals and description of ideas, but I, I couldn't give them the spaces in which those ideas mattered. I couldn't create for an 11 year old why they would want to worry about you know, persuasive writing or you know, understanding electricity or even mathematics. And so what I can do in a game is I can create, I can kind of like we put the cart before the horse, we've put the, you know, the, the tools that we know were important before those situations in which they're important. With a game I can reverse it again. I can first establish a desire to know why and a reason for and then bring in the academic content. What for me makes so, you know, games so powerful and what they offer is this form of transformational play where I am taking up a role, I am doing things that are transforming the environment and not in some way where a teacher says, oh, that's a good report, you would have saved these fish. But I actually get to see the fish come back and I get to hear um, the people in the park say, wow, we have fish again, we have a job, you know, we can continue on with the park. So there's this notion of um, experiential consequentiality. But at the same time, it's not just that I transform the environment, but as I do that, people treat me differently and I get to level up. So as I'm playing this game, the world and me are changing in relation to each other. And if we've done our job well as academic designers, the only way that the world can transform successfully and that I can evolve is if I enlist academic content, ideas of eutrophication, ideas of erosion in meaningful ways. Because if I don't understand those, I shouldn't be able to succeed in the game. My dream of No Child Left Behind would be that every child has an experience where they can be a scientist for a couple weeks, where they can be a historian, where they can be a persuasive writer, where they can be an accountant. And the, the challenge of that is in the context of schools, it's very, very hard. You know, so someone would say, oh, I love the idea. Let's have all kids be a scientist and investigate a real world problem. Let's go get field trip money and we'll bring them out to the local park. When I get there, the odds of there being a problem that we really want a 10-year-old solving are very slim. And the idea of that problem actually connecting to the academic standards and the kinds of things that I'm held accountable to are even more slim. In a video game, we can do all that. When you look at people like Vygotsky, who talked about through play, one allows, one is able to act ahead above himself. Or you look at people like Gadamer, who's a play theorist, who talked about when I play a game, it's not just that I'm playing with concepts, or playing the game, but in a well-designed space, I'm actually playing out self. I think this idea of what games allow is an opportunity to take on a role that I wouldn't see myself doing for many reasons. Either I wasn't knowledgeable enough, I wouldn't have that opportunity, I, for whatever reason, is very, very important. The fantastical element where I get to try on an identity that I wouldn't allows me to project myself into that character experience because at some level I know I'm playing. And when we think about learning, th the idea of learning is really that we're trying to help kids take on ideas, concepts, and I would argue even identities that they wouldn't normally if they didn't show up for school. So wh what games kind of do for us is give us that opportunity to really step into another. Um, but additionally, as my character evolves, I'm stepping into another in a way that's allowing me to reconsider me. I think that the technology is very, very important. I don't think it's because it teaches, but I think what it affords is an opportunity for transaction, for play, for identity roles, for kids communicating across distances, for breaking down boundaries that we just, we, we can't do without the technology. So I do think, um, I'm definitely not someone who feels like technology is our future. Um, in that sense, but I do think it's one of the tools that's going to allow us to create the future that we all really want.